All right, before I say or do anything, let's open up some crypto keys or 54i contraband. I almost have 80 crypto keys, actually. I'm gonna open up two rare ones and one common one. And then I think at the end of the video, I'm gonna open up one more common if I get enough crypto keys for the next one. But yeah, let's just do it, I guess. Open up these, uh, this 54i contraband. I did this one time. All right, of course, I don't get anything good. Actually, that calling card's kind of cool. But yeah, last time I opened up some of these uh, cases was... Uh, actually, when the game first came out, it was like the first couple of days after the game came out. I was opening up a few cases. But here's a common one. Already got some rare. Not not too bad, I guess. I don't know. The only thing I really care about when it comes to these cases are camos. Like, the glowing, moving camos. Those, those are the dopest. All right, come on. I see people on YouTube getting, like, two legendaries and an epic in one fucking common case. I get nothing. This is probably the best thing that I've gotten from a case ever. This is a- that- this is this one. It's an epic camo for the knife, and it's, like, a glowy storm camo. I mean, I'd love an epic camo for either the SVG or the Locust. That'd be pretty damn cool. But anyway, what's going on, guys? Faze Blaziken or Lucas here, and I hope you guys are all having a great day so far. Today is Thursday, November 26th, and that is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you people out there. All of you sloth people. Hopefully all of you guys can celebrate it with your loved ones or your family members or, you know, your close friends. That's kind of the time at Thanksgiving time. Or I guess holiday time in general. It's kind of like, you know, the time to be around family and friends. But, you know, it doesn't have to be that. But so if you're celebrating Turkey Day, I hope you have a good one and I hope you enjoy the, the feast or, you know, the festival. Not festival, but the festivities. For those of you guys who do Thanksgiving or, you know, celebrate Thanksgiving, whatever, I don't know about you, but my favorite part of, you know, the whole thing is the big Thanksgiving meal. Every year I do the exact same thing. I wake up and I, I don't eat anything throughout the whole entire day until the Thanksgiving meal. I just try and like save my hunger and like make my stomach as big as possible so I can stuff as much food into it. But yes, besides Thanksgiving, after this, you know, time is over, this Thanksgiving time's over, this kind of like the beginning of holiday season. And I guess here in America, that holiday season kind of starts with uh, Black Friday. If you don't know what Black Friday is, I'm pretty sure they have Black Friday. I don't know if they have it all around the world, but I'm, in America at least, it's like the biggest shopping day of the year. Every online shopping place or, you know, store, they try to outdo each other by making their prices, like, insanely low. And it's just, like, one day a year where stores have, like, really good discounts and you can get, like, electronics and, you know, all kinds of stuff for really cheap. So since Black Friday starts tomorrow, or it, it, it is tomorrow, I thought it'd be appropriate to tell you guys a little Black Friday story of what happened to me, actually, and I've only ever been to one Black Friday. So this story is from my one and only, like, Black Friday experience. So I'm not really sure, like, when this happened exactly. I think it was either four or five years ago. And so what happened was me and my dad wanted to take part in Black Friday. Me and my dad had never done that before, but we just wanted to get, you know, some stuff for a discounted price. So since most stores opened up at like eight in the morning, we decided that we'd wake up like super early to get in line so we could get in line and, you know, get all the stuff that we wanted to get. I think my dad wanted to get like a cool like flat screen TV and I really wanted to get an Xbox, like an Xbox 360 because mine had recently broken. All right, my camera cut out. Not really sure when, but I'm gonna continue the story. So as I was saying, me and my dad, we woke up early. We woke up at four in the morning. We went to our local electronics store and we really thought that like waking up at four was a enough time that we kind of beat the crowds and get to more of the front of the line. We got there at like 4.30 in the morning and the lines were like already all the way around the building, all the way around the block. There were probably like a couple thousand people in line. Maybe not a couple thousand, but like definitely at least over a thousand people already waiting in line. And me and my dad were just so butthurt. But since we got up that early and since we already drove out, we just decided to get into the line, you know, start standing in the line. So we got in line and by the time that the store ended up opening, the line was way longer. So it was good that we got there early. But as we slowly got into the store, we could see people coming out, and a lot of the people had, like, gaming consoles, had, like, Xboxes, PlayStation 3s, and at this electronics store, which, by the way, was Fry's, for those of you guys who know Fry's Electronics, they had a really good deal for, they had a really good deal for Xboxes, where you could get an Xbox 360 for $200 and two games and two controllers, and I really wanted and needed that Xbox, like, I needed it. <laughs> Mine was broken, and actually, looking back on it, if I wouldn't have gotten this Xbox, I probably would have eventually gotten one, but who knows, you know, if I didn't get that Xbox from Black Friday, who knows if I would have even like continued playing xbox started youtube whatever that's some really big what ifs but i'm gonna continue the story we get into the store and immediately like the store is completely packed but i immediately run over to the gaming aisle and a couple playstation 3s left and like a couple of wii stuff in the nintendo area i just see the rack where all the xboxes are supposed to be and it just says sold out on the top and there's nothing there and i was so upset so i was super bummed out you know i wasn't gonna get an xbox i was super excited for it but wait my dad ends up wanting to get a tv and we go to pay for the tv that he wants to get the dude who was paying next to us he 
was buying an Xbox, you know, the exact same thing that I wanted. And I just look over it and I see that he's like looking for his wallet. He's patting down his pants. And then he starts getting a little bit upset. You want to know why? Because he forgot his wallet. He couldn't find his wallet. He ended up going back to his car to check if his wallet was in his car. And, you know, the whole time me and my dad just waited there. We just wanted to wait and see if he, he was able to buy it. And he wasn't. And it was literally like the last bundle they had left in the whole store. And it was just right there. And we were waiting for it. We told the cashier, we were like, we want this. If this guy can't pay for it, we're getting it. But yeah, that's kind of my little Black Friday experience. Nothing really too crazy. I just got super lucky. And like I said, you know, who knows what would have happened if I never would have gotten that Xbox. But yeah, guys, that wraps it up for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, feel free to smash that like button. I hope you guys enjoy, you know, having Thanksgiving with your families. If you can celebrate that. And even if you don't, I hope you enjoy your day. But yeah, it's been it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Always remember to stay slothy out there. And yeah, it's been it. Peace.